This is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Um, what, I, what I have here is an aerial photo. Uh, actually, I'm on Google Earth right at the moment, looking at a, a piece of property that a commenter had asked some uh, a couple questions about. And I'm what I'm doing is making it. I made an entire uh, blog post about it. So there's several videos uh, talking about this one property. So if you're on YouTube, click the link below in the description. It'll take you to the actual blog post on DeerHuntingSchool.com. And you can follow the entire thing and it'll make much more sense to you and you'll get a lot more information about it. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about this um, property. Uh, first thing is you can see it's agricultural area. There's a lot of uh, uh, <clears throat> fields around, crop fields. Um, and it, it's this property right here inside this square. You see that this, this road here, that's the north side and it runs down, runs down this area here. And this is the south side of the property. Um, and then it comes up this road here. So that's the, that's the property we're looking at. There's several good things I see about this property. I really, this is a very good property to have. Um, so the guy that's hunting it, you know who you are. Um, you've got a good property here. Um, I really wouldn't be surprised to take some really, really big bucks off of this property. I would definitely... Um, see if I could keep my permission on it to where I could keep hunting it. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and talk about this. Um, what I see, I see, I see some funnels connecting other large areas where deer could be. So you could get some neighboring bucks during the rut. Um, other, plenty of areas for, for deer, some funnels can touching this property that connects this property to other areas. Um, one thing that I did notice, and there's several funnels on this property that makes it very good for uh, setting up on, and we'll talk about that in another video. But one thing I noticed, one of the first things I noticed about this property was I, I started looking for bedding area other than other than just the woods around these field crops, depending on the hunting pressure. If there's hardly any hunting pressure, these deer will bed almost anywhere. I have seen deer bed on the side of the road in a park that we... Me and my wife and kids go drive around. Um, we see deer bedded down on the side of the road, 15 yards from the edge of the road, right in the middle of an open field. And, and we're talking mowed down, not even ankle deep grass. And these deer are just bedded there, and they just look at you and watch you drive by. You can stop the car, and they just look at you like you're, you're yeah, you're you're like you're dumb almost. Um, it's a, it's the way the deer are. If, depending on the pressure, depends on the deer's attitude. Um, a lot of people watch these hunting videos, and, and I'm not knocking hunting videos whatsoever. I love watching them. Um, some of these guys are very good hunters, um, but I've heard people a lot of times say, well, that's fake, and it's not fake to where they're hunting. Um, these guys are hunting areas that are well managed and that have no hunting pressure on these deer, so the deer act different than the average person that hunts. So well, the first thing i done, because I, I'm used to hunting uh, heavily pressured areas. The first thing I go looking for is thick areas, ways that I can find thick areas to, to take advantage of. And I found some areas that I think on this property should be pretty thick. Um, the first thing that I did notice doing that is I noticed some dead, looks like dead trees to me. And this video or this picture was took in, in June, June the 2nd of 2013. Um, so this is well within the growing season. So I believe these trees are dead. Um, here, I'm not for sure, but you know, th from this aerial photo, they look like some dead trees. I don't know if maybe some herbicides from the crops killed them or uh, some type of parasite. A lot of times they get parasite on certain types of trees and it'll kill kill out some trees. But what I'm thinking when I first think of this, these large trees, and if they're dead, um, especially when you get a, a bigger patch of them, like you've got a pretty good area here. You've got a pretty good area here. Um, you've got a pretty good swath here of them, and you've got a pretty, pretty good size area here. Is I'm thinking that if these things are dead, they're letting sunlight through to that ground. And anytime you have sunlight penetrate the ground, you're going to have undergrowth from the ground up, which is going to grow into a very thick area in the ground where you can get in and bed and feel very comfortable. <clears throat> okay, and 
I'm just going to scroll this back because I've done this. This is one thing I like about Google Earth. You can go back to, to previous aerial photos of this. So I'm going to go back a couple. I'm going to go back to 2006, and it's blurry. But you can start seeing here where it looks like you're starting to see the ground. I'm going to go back one more because you can definitely. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 90, 95% sure that I'm seeing the ground here in this aerial photo right here. Um, and that's a decent size area. Um, I'll pull my yardage meter up, and this is another thing. This is a this is a decent size area. Um, it's a 50 50 yard 50 yard wide, probably by probably by uh, 60 60 yard of nothing but. Uh, the ground. So what this is telling me that five years or set eight years ago that there was nothing there. So them trees are no more than eight years old. Now I'm going to go back to the one more picture. It was took in the winter, but you can definitely see here that that's definitely the ground. These were very thin. This looks very thin. And when you have very thin looking woods, that means the sun is hitting that ground, which allows it to grow up thick. Um, this property has some creek has a creek running through it looks like I could be wrong but it very seriously looks like a creek that's running through here and it may not be a wet creek year-round but there's definitely a pond here there's some water here there was another pond somewhere else oh yeah there's a really big pond over here um, so these deer have everything they need they have the crop they have the food they have acorns because I'm sure these are hardwood trees a lot of these are hardwood trees didn't look like any pines to me um, They've got water. They've got what I believe now is going to be some pretty thick area down in this 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 southern part right here. And you may have a little bit here, and probably right in here you're going to have a little bit of, of a thick area. And depending on the hunting pressure, like I said before, depending on where these deer are going to bed. If there's intense hunting pressure, them things are going to find the nastiest wherever they feel safe at. Um, they're going to get wherever they feel safe. It may be this patch right here out in the middle of this field um, where no one ever comes. That deer may feel safe, but I'm just saying. Most likely, most of the time in heavy hunting pressure, them things are going to find the thickest. I've seen them get into swamps in below 20 degree weather and in the 20s and stay in the, in the water all day long. And then they come out of the water at night and go and feed and do their thing. <clears throat> but wherever they feel safe, where they're going to stay during the daytime and that's the thing with hunting you have to find them in the daytime so I hope that y'all enjoyed this video me talking a little bit about this property um, I have a few other videos on it <clears throat> explaining some things I'm gonna draw some some things out on it the um, like I said if you're on YouTube click the link below in the description it'll take you to deerhuntingschool.com it'll take you to this individual post so that you can follow this this these video this series of videos on this property, um, explaining what I see and some somewhere where I would look first, where I would probably plan on putting deer stands and things like that. So hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com.